Okay, uh, you know, I just, I don't really feel like eating. I'm too jittery, and I just want to go home. All right, come here. Listen, do me a favor. You just try not to think about the trial today. It's going to be here soon I enough. I just want right? to get in there and get it over with. So, didn't I promise you I'd get you out on bail? Didn't yes. I? And I did that. I promise you I'm not going to let anyone take you to prison. Okay? Uh, you sure are having way too much fun. What is practicing, Drew, for when this nightmare is over? You know, well, it's a little early for that. You know, we still haven't talked to the maid, Ruth, yet. Um, actually, don't be mad at me. I went down there myself and I talked to her. It's okay, it went really well. Okay, did she tell you who, who killed my father? No, no um, she was too scared. But she did admit that she lied about seeing me there that night. Well, that's great. That's great for you, Michelle. But, um, what about the person who did this? What about the person who killed my father, Michelle? You know what, if he wants my sister, he can have her, but he can't have me too because I'm taking my family and I'm moving home. But we can leave, Mommy. You promised it would be like this forever. Richard going to? No. No, he isn't. Then why do we have to go? You know, maybe it'll just be for a little while and then and then we'll see how everything goes. But what about the wedding and my dress and oh, I don't really want to go. I know. I know you don't, sweetie. I love my school. My friends are really nice and oh, please don't make us go. What is it? Richard and Riva are not in San Cristobal. They're at my sister's house. They found Jonathan. Richard and Riva. What do they want, Marissa? They've come to take John away. Why else would they be here? Well, maybe they just want to check on him, you know? Make sure he's doing well. What should I do? Just be nice to them. You show them how much Jonathan belongs there with you, okay? You stay calm. Don't worry, honey. It's going to be all right. I'll take care of him. I love you, too. Reva is going to try and take Jonathan away from no, her. I know it. No, no, no. I can understand Richard trying to do something like that, but not Reva. It doesn't make any sense. Well, apparently she's changed her mind, Josh. No. No, you need to open your eyes about this, okay? This is not about Jonathan anymore. This is about Reva wanting Richard back. And she's using John to get to him. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> John, do you realize you, you've grown up so much since the last time I saw you? I bet all the old grown-ups say that to you, don't they? Yes. But I've got a present for you. Would you like to see it? Yes, please. Here you go. May I open it? Well, of course you can. Wow, you're a stinger. How'd you know? <laughs> well, you, you mentioned it to me once before. You probably don't remember. But... Hey, Mom, can I turn it off? Well, yes, of course you can. Go right ahead. I can't believe it. He's an incredible child. I just, I just want to be with him, you know? You are with him. Of course I am. I just can't believe it. It's our son, Reba, our son. Why would Reba bring Jonathan into this? It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Why, why, just, why would she use Jonathan? What better way to get Richard back? No, I'm sorry. It tore Reba apart to leave Jonathan with your sister, but she did it anyway. She wouldn't uproot him now. But if she loves Richard that much, how did she find out where he was? Huh? What did she do? Sneak into my room and go through my papers? When? The other day. Well, we were on our date. You said you saw her. Oh, boy. Oh, Wait a minute. No, no, no. no. Come on now. Where are you going? I want to get Just on a plane and go see my on. sister. No. You don't want to do that, okay? If Reba's down there, I I'm sure she has some kind of reason. There, there must be some... Josh, she is not going to quit until she gets what she wants. But you know if that. If you go down there and start going after Reba, you're just going to make things worse. What am I supposed to do? Just sit back and do nothing? 
I am not going to let her destroy my sister's life just so she can get what she wants, okay? So there I was, uh, John, strapped into this chair, right, on the back of the boat. And, um, well, we knew we had a big fish because, you know why? Because the thing was literally dragging us. It was dragging the boat. It was, it was that big. We thought it was like maybe a marlin or a swordfish or something. Did you catch him? Yes, we landed him. What was he? He was a 1,250-pound swordfish. He was 1,250 wow. pounds, yeah. Do you think we're going to catch her to this today? I think we might. I think we're going to try anyway. There you go. Yeah, I'll go get the bait. Okay, you get the bait. He's so happy. He has your smile, you know. Actually, you know, it, it's actually, it's my father's smile. And my father would have been so happy to have known John. I remember seeing paintings of him at the palace. Right. <laughs> he didn't smile very much in those, did he? As a matter of fact, he, he didn't smile very much at all, my father. But he loved you. Yes, I suppose he did. He, I was the eldest and uh, heir to the throne. He needed me. I wish he would have taken me fishing a few more times than he did. This, this is a dream, Ava. This is a dream. Hey. I have five words. Oh, beautiful. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, Catherine, why don't you... Oh, dear. I'm sorry. Reva. It's okay. Well, Reva, do we'll... you think you can manage the bait? What, do you think I'm going to scream and run away? You're sadly mistaken, because I can bait a hook with the best of them. Come on. <laughs> well, all right. So, shall we get going? I'll tell you what, I'll race you to the shore. Okay, go. Go. <laughs> Don't wade in too far. I'm not Catherine, Richard. I can never be Catherine again. Why should we believe this Ruth Lockhart won't just run away again? Huh? She did the last time she got scared and she bolted. That's because she was afraid of me, too. She, she wouldn't have admitted that she lied. She would have denied it and ran off. Well, she's got a kid in the hospital. She can't just keep moving him all no, over the place. she's not going to up and leave. It's too dangerous. Drew, listen. If you had gone over there, you would have gotten so emotional, you would have tried to shake the truth out of her. But maybe just... I would have gotten the truth, Michelle, the truth that I need to get. And maybe you would have scared her off. You know? Michelle, That's... Oh, excuse me, this is an update on your bail oh, condition. Do you need to read it and sign you. it? If you guys are talking about Mrs. Lockhart, and I assume that you are, she's with the assistant DA right now going over her story. Well, let's go see what she has to say. No, 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 no. Now, I am going to go to the courthouse, but you are not going anywhere near that building. You this understand? woman knows the truth, Frost. That's, that's all she I want. She is a witness for the prosecution. We're not allowed to even speak to her until the trial starts. Now, would all of you just relax and let me do my job? Yeah, that, Ross, that is the best legal advice I've heard in a long time. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Go where? We're going to take your lawyer's advice, and we're going to go relax. Okay, let's go. Hey, Drew, are you? I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. She didn't run away, right? Okay. We'll see you later. All right, I'll be in touch. Thanks. Are you going to the courthouse now? Yes, I am. And no, you can't go with me. It wouldn't help Michelle's case, and we'd probably get in a lot of trouble with the judge. Wouldn't you agree? Drew? Yeah. You take it easy. I'll let you know what's going on. <laughs> Uh, John wants to know if you want to come join us. I, uh, in a little while. All right. You know, he, he loves the sea. I've always been a little afraid of the ocean myself. Really? You? Well, yeah. I mean, it just was different from what I was used to. You know, lakes and rivers. Ocean always made me feel small and vulnerable. There's quite a bit we don't know about each other, isn't there? Yeah, but yet we were married and had a child together. You know, I always, always loved the sea. You know, when I was growing up, I sometimes, you know, I, I thought to myself, you know, if I couldn't be Prince, I would want to be, 
I'm serious, an oceanographer or the captain of a ship or a marine biologist, anything to do with the sea, I just loved it. And when Jonathan was born, I, I remember wishing that he would have choices in his life, you know? And the choices I didn't have. Well, if we let him stay with Marissa, he'll be able to make all the choices he wants. And without us. Are you going to go out and fish with us? Yes, I am. But don't you want to eat something? Aren't you starving? No, not really. Look. I found this for you. It's the nicest one. See? It's smooth. Eat shag. It's beautiful. Thank you. You guys are nice. Both of you. I want to go see if my mom's making any cookies. <laughs> He's really something, isn't he? I thought we were just fine here. But... We have been. I'm so sorry that I have to do this. Did you and Richard have a fight? No. Because you guys can talk and you can be friends again and we can stay. You'd like that more than anything else, wouldn't you? Well, you know what? Why don't you go to bed? And then we'll see how everything goes tomorrow. Okay? Good night, Peanut. Good night, Mom. Good night, sweetie. You sleep tight. What is it? And if we have to go, it's okay. Really glad I'm not you right now. Thanks. What are you going to do, Cass? If I leave, I'm going to break her heart. Mm -hmm. And if you stay, you'll break yours. That's why you have to leave. Oh, Tammy. Cassie, I know. I know it's hard for her right now, but you have to think long term. You have to think six months from... Forget six months. Think a month from now. When Richard comes to you and says that he's going on another one of these jaunts with Reva, I mean, how long are you going to do that? Eventually, it'll kill you. I hate Richard. You know, I hate him for doing this to me. There you go. Do you love him? That's why this hurts so much. I don't know what to do, Harley. I have no idea what to do because I don't want to stay here and be a lovesick fool with no pride. But there's no way I can look Tammy in the face and tell her that this fairy tale is over. Ooh. Come here often. You want to talk about this? Not unless something we say will change something. My sister will be devastated if Eva takes Jonathan away from her. I don't get this. You know, Reva knew what this would do to everybody, and she's going to go ahead and do it anyway. We don't know how it's going to turn out yet. Josh, just the fact that they are down there, they are not going to leave without their son. Don't you see? She did it. She got what she wanted. She got her, the husband that she loves and the family. And... Oh. I'm sorry. It's okay. Really, I mean, I knew something like this was going to happen no, sooner or later. No, I'm it's sorry. Right. All I was thinking about was my own family. I wasn't really, thinking how much it was hurting you. Don't, don't say you're sorry for anything, okay? It's... I've known Reva for a long time, and... Uh... I didn't really believe that she was going to go back to Richard. I took an army down there to rescue her, to take her away from there, and, and all along, what she really wanted was to stay, and I guess I just, I just didn't see that. Well, maybe you did, you know, maybe that's why you're sitting here now with me. Reva got what she wanted. 
Maybe I did too. But it does seem that Reva and I are finally finished. It's over and done. Sandwich? From Sheree, thanks. How can you argue with those matters? Well, okay, but I'm going to ration. You can have two cookies, but then you have to promise me to eat half a sandwich. Deal? Okay. Deal. <laughs> All right, deal. Milk, please. Milk. Uh-oh. I'll get some. Okay. <laughs> have, you, have you ever seen so much energy? He's like a little rabbit. <laughs> he really likes you, too. Now he really likes both of us. What's the matter? I just can't believe that I kept him from you all these years. And when I see you with him now, I can't even imagine how you must have coped without him. But I won't lie to you, Riva. When you took him away, when you sent him away, I was crushed. But you know what? If you didn't do that, he might not be alive. And I wouldn't have had this day today. I was angry. I was angry, but being with John, it just takes away all the anger. I was frightened for him. He's safe because of what you did. And I was afraid to give you it his address because I didn't know what what you would think you, you, what you were right you were right absolutely right to insist that we deal with what we left unfinished you were right when the whole world tells you you were wrong I just want to thank you for bringing me to him and you know thank you for sharing this day with me the feelings that we had for each other were real, weren't they? They were very real. And they meant something, didn't they? They meant everything, Riva. They meant the world. Look, we have... We've created this beautiful, beautiful boy. But we can't forget that. And we can't pretend that it never happened. No, you and I, we had a dream. And we must never forget. It's time that, well, I don't know, perhaps we're ready to deal with, with who we are now, where we are. Don't you? I do. I finally do. It's so different from when I was growing up in the city. It's so quiet. <clears throat> You know, when I was, even when I was in prison, when I was alone, I used to close my eyes and dream about us being here. Mm -hmm. What is this? A copy of the four plans of our house. <laughs> you carry this around? Oh, yeah, everywhere. Now, I wanted to discuss the nursery with you. What nursery? What about it? I'm making it a little bigger. Maybe a lot bigger. Oh, you have some big plans oh, for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want a very big family. Mm -hmm. Lots of little Michelles. Just little Dannys running, running around, around raising hell. <laughs> hey, buddy. Work to do that. Oh, well, yeah. Mr. Sanchez, we better get started. Mm -hmm. office. I mean, what more do you need to know? Um, where, where, where exactly were you the night Ben Warren was murdered? I already stated that. Right, I'm sorry, I forgot. What I needed to know, um, they wanted me to ask you is who did you really see? That's what 
were here for. Who did you see? You saw someone, right? I just told the district attorney that. Well, then why don't you just say it again? You're not with this office, are you? What do you want from me? What I want... I'm, I want to know who killed my, my father, ma'am. I called you Catherine before. I know. I'm sorry. No, don't be. I don't regret that time. I don't either. But... But this is really not going to work with us, is it? How long have you... Uh, how long have you known that? Not until today. Otherwise, I never would have left Josh to deal with it. I owe that to him. You owe that to yourself. You dropped everything. To be here, deal with this. I'm not the same helpless woman that you rescued from the ocean. Without a past, without a family, without a life. And that's the woman you fell in love with. Catherine. Not Ricochet. I was chasing... I was chasing something that... used to be real, but isn't anymore. But it was, Riva, it was real. I loved you. And you were in love with me. being Catherine and I remember loving you but it's over I know that now and I think you do too I'm not being noble or anything like that. I'm just, I'm a realist. And as far as I'm concerned, I, I think that the two of you can, you can, you can work this out. If that's what you really want. You know, it doesn't really matter anymore. Whether or not Reva stays with Richard or goes back to Richard, it just doesn't matter. She's going after the life she wants. Maybe it's time for me to do the same thing. Hey, you know what? This is a good thing. It is. I've been in limbo for a while. Half my stuff's at home, half of it's over at Matt's. It's, it's time for me to make a clean break. What are you going to do? I'm going to get started on my life. I'm going to get an apartment. An apartment? <laughs> That's a big step. Yeah. Oh, my. I'm going to have to talk to Mar and Shane about it, though. That's going to be tough. I think since I've been staying with their Uncle Matt, it seems like the separation is temporary and this will change things. But I don't see any other way. I'm going to give you my advice. Whatever decision you make, don't do it out of pain or anger, okay? You really need to think about this. feel bad for me. This, this is my life now. And I'm finally taking control of it, and it feels good. And for the first time, the first time I've ever known, uh, Reed is not a part of that. Cassie, I wish I could help you to decide. 
No. I have to do this on my own. Forgive me, Miss Lane. I need approval on the menu for tomorrow's steak dinner. Okay. I... I... I don't know. Not to worry. I'll take care of it. Thank you. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Right. You know what? Don't don't rush this. This is your life we're talking yeah. about here, right? And add a little bit of pressure to that life. I've decided I am going to meet Philip in New oh. York City, and if you are going to come home with me, you should decide that very soon. Okay? I'm going to go pack, and and you just decide what you want to do. Sorry it took me so long. I got here as fast as I could because, well, because I missed you so much. Richard, I missed you too. Really? Yeah. Oh, no more games, no more fantasies. Knock, knock. How was your trip? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was uneventful, really. You know, lots of business meetings, you know. Why don't you tell me where you really were? You went to see Reva, didn't you? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I did, yes. Because you're still in love with her. <sighs> Quite frankly, I am, yes. Well, listen, it's, it shouldn't bother you. You know, we're going to be spending lots of time together, really lots of time together. State dinners, lots of functions, you know, whatever. Whatever. Here we are. Oh, now, come on, Cassie. What's with the gloomy face? Cassie, I like you. I like you. I really do a lot. But you understand, Reva and I, we have so much together. Now, you know this getting in. You didn't really think that we were going to become romantically involved or something, did you? You understood that, right? Now, come on. What's that smile? Chin up. so hard to be patient. He waits exactly two minutes, and if he doesn't catch a fish, he brings in the line <laughs> and he casts it back out again. It's precious. So what happens now? We get on with our lives. And John? We do what's best for him. And... No matter what we decide, if he's with me or with you, or if we let him stay with Marissa, it's what's best for him. But now I know it's it's over. It's over for us. Will you go back to Josh? I don't know whether I can repair the damage I've done there. We've both caused a great deal of damage. But, you know, you have to think about what you want yourself. What you want when you go back home, because that is a, a decision that affects both of us. I'm, I'm going to go check on John. Reva. 
I know. We worked it all out. You don't have to say it. I know you're in love with her. No. I am in love, but not with Riva. I'm in love with you. There's no stars. Stars are always out. We just don't see them. Meaning that they're not out. <sighs> okay, well, have it your way, then. Let's pretend mm -hmm. that it's night, and we are lying in our bedroom of our new house, mm. looking up through the skylight, mm. and the sky is full of stars. I like this house. Mm -hmm. Did you make a wish? Yes. What did you wish for? I'm not going to tell you. Well, well I'll tell you what I wish for. No, I no, wish. Don't I tell me. Stop the same it. Thing. Don't tell I bet me. we did. Don't I wish. Don't I wish. I wish that we will always be as happy as we feel right now. You weren't supposed to tell me. <laughs> You cold? Come here, get closer. Oh, get closer. It's not so much cold, it's just a really weird feeling. One of those, uh, like somebody walked over my grave or something. No. I don't believe in that. Um, neither do I. It's just, um... If you want to clear Michelle's name, which you should rightfully do, then, then all you have to do is tell me who you saw. I don't have to say anything to you. Don't you want to tell the truth? I mean, what's the difference if you're telling the truth? You know how to tell the you're truth, doing. don't you? I am not leaving! I am not leaving no. until you tell me who was at my father's are you apartment! Doing? Excuse I'm me, sorry, Ross, but she knows! She knows! Talk about this outside. I am very sorry, Robert. So I hope you like him a liar. I hope you like it. Are you crazy? She knows who did it. I am That's... going to find out no. everything that this woman knows, but I am going to do it, not you. Now, you pull yourself together and go home. Is that the classified? Yes, ma'am. You really are serious about I this. I am very serious about it. I'm going to start looking for an apartment tomorrow. The problem is, what what does this mean? What is an ELK? And is that something I want in an apartment? Well, that's an elk. I wouldn't. <laughs> that's, what is that? That's an I. That's an it's I. It's not an I. It, no, it is. It's an I. It's an eating kitchen. And yes, you want one of those in your apartment. I haven't done this for a while. I can tell. Yeah. <sighs> um, I, I, could, I could help you if you want. Well, that would be nice. I might have to take you up on that. Thank you. You going back to Mass? Um, that was the plan. Uh, unless, of course, you have some other possibility. <laughs> that was a hint. That was real subtle, oh. wasn't it? <laughs> Josh, this you and me thing, I, I don't... If this is about getting back at Riva. I wouldn't do that to you. This is what I want. Me too. Go get cleaned up. You're not leaving yet, are you? No, no, we're not leaving yet, John. Don't worry. Yeah! <laughs> Such a joy. Marissa and Alfred have really done a remarkable job raising him. Yes, they have. Have you thought about what you want when you go home? 
Yes, I have. Because it's not just about us anymore. There's others involved. Cassie. When I first heard that you were going to marry my sister, I hated it. But now that I've seen the way you speak of her and the look in your eyes when you talk about her, something's changed, hasn't it? Well, it's, uh, it's just that, well, it'd be hard not to... Are you in love with her, Richard? If the answer is no, then you have to let her go. Reva, I am not doing this to hurt you, I promise. But it will if you don't. Cassie loves you. No, no. She doesn't. She, she doesn't have that... those types Richard, of feelings for me, really. I know my sister. She's working very hard to hold up her end of the arrangement. And she probably thinks that she's going to fail you somehow if she tells you what her real feelings are. Think about it. I'm going to go get cleaned up. Okay, why don't we um, substitute smoked for the poached salmon, get rid of the veal, we'll have a beef entree, and throw in a sorbet after every course. Right away, Miss Lane. Thanks. I take it you're not going to leave. I... I can't let Tammy down. I can't. You're crazy. <laughs> I love you. You're my best friend, but you are crazy. <laughs> well, you know, there's a lot of things I want to do on this island. I know. Your children's museum. For starters, yes. Exactly. But you know, if you get, you know, lonely or scared, give me a call, okay? Oh, I'm going to have them install a direct line straight to your house. I think that's a great <laughs> idea. And I'll tell you from the looks of it, I think you're going to handle this princess thing just fine. I'm going to do my best. Go, 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 sweetie. I know. You. And you have a country you need to help run. Yeah. Right? Call me. I'm going to make San Cristobal love me. Even if Richard never will. Guiding Light, 